man 978 chill review hello everyone team man 978 reviewing transformers generations voyager class roadbuster roadbuster is a 30th anniversary update to the original g1 roadbuster that came out around the, the second series or i should say the second year of transformers roadbuster was a licensed toy that was produced by Bondi back in the day, but they were, Hasbro was able to use it as an as a transformer as an Autobot. Unfortunately, through their deals and whatnot, they weren't able to actually put him in the cartoon, so he never appeared in the cartoon. He did appear in the comics, and he got. I'm not sure if he was popular back in the day, but. You got some new popularity in the newer IDW comics with their records comic comic books. But as you can see, he is an armored vehicle that is armed to the teeth with one, two, three, four, five, six, six different weapons. I feel like there's a seventh, but I, <laughs> I could even be making that up or just remembering things. Anyway. His old school vehicle had like an open hatch. It was more of a big bulky Jeep. Whereas this is an armored Hummer or whatnot. He has ports all over the place. So, and he even has more point ports on the actual weapon. So you have a ton of different options. To do what you want. I guess it's easier to take the pieces off. <laughs> and then plug them in. As you just saw me fail at plugging them directly into the weapon. So you can do things like that and create your own monstrosity. But for right now, let's take all this stuff off. So you can see. One thing cool about this guy and other figures like Springer. I'm not going to dwell too much on the other figures. I'll save them for their own reviews. Is The way it's painted, you have to see it in hand. If you're somebody that handled G1 figures... The way this is painted, it super gives me a G1 feel. Because usually where it's really highly painted, that's where die cast was. And the old toys definitely always had die cast. And that carries over into the robot mode. I'll show that off more in the robot mode. But he has a lot of paint. Like all of this whole complete rear section is orange and brown paint right there. His brown paint on this front part right there. Has some silver in there. And yeah, last year was our last hope of getting well painted toys. Because it even has green painted rims right there. This is what it looks like on the underbelly. I turned the head around. You don't have to, but it helps it from having visible head syndrome. There's a lot of space down there. But I like this. It rolls rather well, and it should with these big, gigantic tires. But anyway, let's get the transformation. No cutaway. Transformation. And this is simple as can be. I love simple transformation if it gets me a good vehicle mode, a good alt mode, and a good robot mode at the same time. Anyway, first thing you want to do is just grab here. Or, yeah, mm, come on. Grab there and lift up. One thing I didn't mention, all these little decals right there are actually stickers that were packed in. So you don't have to put those on, but as you can imagine, without these stickers, it would look a little bit more bare bones. But with all this paint and whatnot, it still looks good. Pull that down. Separate them right there. Push these wheels to the back. And like I said, look at the paint. They even went all the way back here with that orange paint. It just, if you didn't touch it, you would think they had die cast. Put that like that. Bring this foot down, spin it around. Foot down, spin it around. I like to have it at an angle like this. So his feet aren't just big and goofy sitting out like that. But it's your toy. You can do what you want. Up here, we go ahead and untab the fist right there 
go ahead and bring these joints out lift them up like that I guess rotate the arms bring them down rotate the arms bring them down take these two parts fold them in and bring this whole section down like that and now this may be an extra step for me rotate the head and now we have Road Buster in his robot mode. Oh, no we don't. You have to detach this. And now he has actual working elbows. <laughs> but now we have Road Buster in his robot mode. Let me get him in a pose. Here he is in a bare bones pose right there. But one thing you don't you can't see in pictures is on pictures he looks rather like flat like he has no mass to him but in person he looks and from certain angles you should be able to see it he's like rather beefy and chunky in this part right, of his body right there and his legs are filled in with like these wheels and whatnot he's way more thick in person or or out of the box, I should say, because you probably have seen this dude in stores. He, in fact, he's still on the shelf. If watching this makes you decide you want to buy one, he still has those stickers right there. Without the stickers, he does have this silver deco right there, and you can see the other paint, like they painted this part of his legs, and all the robot. I mean, vehicle mode stuff translates over. Let me get into articulation before I arm him up to what he properly should look like. Head is on the ball joint. Goes up that much. Not really down too much. He can spin 360. Well, let's do a close-up on his face. He has either a Cyclops thing going on or just the visor. You be the, the judge of that. His arms are kind of weird. They go out smooth. But when you bring them back down, there's a, a tight ratchet. I've never had a toy like that. He has bicep swivel. Well, he has this motion right there. He has bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Nothing at the wrist. No waist joint or no swiveling waist joint. The legs can kick up, but this part of his body gets in the way and that's the one thing I hate about this toy maybe his waist should have been a little bit wider and looking at how he's designed I don't know why they didn't give him a waist joint just like Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus they could have fit a waist joint in there if they wanted to it can go out that far without until it bumps into there he has hip swivel he has technically a double jointed knee but in order to get that double joint action. I mean, you do bend both of them to get that much of a bend, but if you want a super bend, you have to do, put the wheel out like that. The ankles have multiple joints down here. He has a swivel hinge right there, a little joint right there, so they can go back like this. And it has a swivel right there on the bottom so they definitely help with posing and the way this stuff bumps you have to like put it out at an angle so you can get use out of these feet which is cool so let me arm them up here is road buster in a slightly assisted pose with my tamashi stage act trident but here's what he's meant to look like and how is he connected to this trident? He has a stand port right there in his butt. That's something they really started doing during Generations last year. And I, I love that. And I was like, why doesn't Hasbro sell stands? But any, anyway, here he is all armed up in his robot mode. You can decide what to do whatever you want to do. And one thing I didn't mention is this one has an actual firing mince missile which fires well as you can see he has ports all over so it's up to you to decide where you want him to be one hidden port he has right here on this gut 
the original toy had this a weapon similar to this that poured it right there but if you wanted to you can put it up here get it off of his gut put it on his shoulder and of course he has a port there ports in the gun like i mentioned but yeah overall i really like this figure it's still on the shelves for some reason maybe everybody got all the figures they wanted and other fans just didn't like this too much or i don't know but i really like this toy myself personally and like i said it's still there and you can find them in clearance places it's like marshall's and ross and whatnot so if this video made you like them even more i'd say get them but it's up to you anyway until next time please like share subscribe comment and all that stuff t-man 978 out of here